Hello Guardians, it is Ubontis here again for another solo Nightfall, this time going to kick it with a Titan. And you guys know we've got the Dust Palace modifiers of Voidborn, two times damage pretty much coming from both sides. Berserk, minions won't flinch, especially those dang phalanx do not want to drop their shields. Got Ironclad, more enemies actually have shields, so shields everywhere. And Catapult, at least the nice thing is you can take those shields down with quite a few grenades, so it's a good thing overall. Now my build on my Titan is going to be as follows, of course, Defender Titan for the Void damage. In the bubble, because I'm going to be going to try the sword on the little on the bosses, so that should be quite a bit of fun. I'm going to try Spike Grenade just to mix it up. I was goofing around with the Suppressor Grenade for a minute and then kind of had a glitch, so i got to restart it. Magnetic Grenade could be good if you can attach it to something, but unfortunately you have some long throws that you've got to make and things like that. So Spike, if you can get it on a wall, can be good. Suppressor for its explosion can be good as well, but I think Spike might be fun to try. Gonna go Blessing of Light. You can go Weapons, just you get more damage from your in weapons. Um, but honestly, Blessing of Light for the shield, for those safety moments, sometimes it's just gonna be worth it. Good old Force Barrier, pretty straightforward. Um, of course, all your stats for battle recovery and toughness. Not too worried about agility on this one, not like I'm trying to speed it through. Increase the duration of Ward of Dawn, and then reduce the cooldown of Ward of Dawn, or you can increase the benefit of Ward of Dawn. Either way, from here, just going to go with pretty much the safe run. Uh, I've got my Hung Jury, got my Laughing Heart. Just the Sniper Rifle here, but I do have um, Exploding Rounds on it, so I get the nice little bonus damage. Spray and Play for some reload speed and perfect balance, so I've got a pretty stable gun. And the fun one, going to be running with Dark Drinker. I used a Sniper and Rocket Launcher last time. It works just fine, but Dark Drinker is so effective with the um, Sword Swipes and Void Burn damage. It's really quick. And when it comes to the Scions, you can do like three or four spins, basically take a Scion out. So even maybe if I go Weapons of Light there in the end and try and just really melt a couple of those guys down, I can speed things along extremely quickly. So we'll see how the last room goes. Also running with Armamentarium just for that extra grenade. Outside of that, let's get rolling, guys. See you on the other side. All right, Guardians, as soon as you launch in, make sure you jump on that spare to get on and move quickly. You can drive through this first section, speed by real quick, which will help you out just a tad. Come around this corner, some of the enemies that spawn in may not even have, be, have spawned in yet, so you can actually drive by them, or if they're dead, no big deal. You can drive your spare, you can drive it down the ramp, it makes life a little easier than trying to make that little jump. And then keep working around. It's kind of a terrible sparrow path, but it, it's happening. And you can drive your Sparrow all the way down here, just for the sake of speed. Go ahead and deploy your Ghost, but unfortunately once you deploy your Ghost, you do want to run back. Run all the way back, get back here to the door, figure out where things are going to spawn in. Typically you're going to have some enemies spawn right here, so what I like to do is try and throw a grenade. As they come out of the door, they're going to have some enemies coming out here. Throw one on the back of that, so they really don't have many places to get away from you. It's a really quick and effective way to get a lot of them taken down. And then, of course, the sniper for this guy is going to be really fast. If you can get that Centurion down, the only thing you got left is a couple Legionnaires, maybe one Phalanx. Not too much. And if they go jumping down, being all, all crazy-like, use your grenades. They're going to melt them down really, really fast. Find Lazy Man. Now, once he goes down, you can pull out your sword. It's going to be a little more effective against the Scions. Should have everything down. Try and find that Scion in the middle. The rest should go, go down ultra quick. Check for ammo as you go around, which will speed things along nicely. Find the few that are running around and being goofy. Grab your special ammo, see if the door is open, which it is. And then you can move on to the next section. Now, around this corner, you're going to have some enemies duking it out. A lot of it's going to be above you. And those guys will kind of hop back and forth and do their thing. But you're going to have one Colossus waiting for you no matter what right here. Watch those rockets. This is a good time for your sniper. I definitely wouldn't try and do this without some type of void sniper. Just because the enemies that you're going to have to take out, especially the big ones like the Colossus and a couple of the Centurions, it's not worth trying to do without one. So These guys aren't so bad, but yeah, throw a grenade up there. See where everybody's at at least 
Have some fun with some grenades. Throw one up there. See if you get lucky. And then just come around the corner. If you let him duke it out down below for a minute, you're not actually going to have that much to worry about. Well, there's literally dropping everything I could use. That was so nice. Come around this corner. You'll have a couple of X. No big deal. Hobgoblin even goes down quick with a sword. And come up here. Now, if you don't have the Dark Drinker, the spin is really good against the bosses, but you can still use a sword for single swipes and do a ton of damage. So... Don't think a regular one, even the Taken Sword, is not too shabby, at least in the grand scheme of just damage. Now, if it was a Brawler, it'd be a beast. You can probably finish this thing off in like two seconds. But once you're up here, look for where the enemies are going to come out from. Lots of sides. Now, a lot of them are going to be down below, somewhat marching up to you. So keep that in mind. That Centurion there is going to be one that if you can get a double headshot, let's take him out pretty quickly. Look for the enemies down below. Try and see if you can get any grenade love your way. Now normally you guys will see me probably drop down, which I'm eventually going to do. But I was just trying to see what it looked like from above on the Cabal run. Use that grenade, try and keep some of these guys in bay, and then go for the Centurions first. If you can get a headshot on them, it goes a lot quicker. But just take a quick minute or two, finish these guys off. Once you got them down... Try and use the cover, come in here. You can go 1, 2, 3 with R1, and then one big spin with R2. It's a quick way to take him out. Anybody else? It's usually one more Scion floating around after you get most of these guys down. So you got to wait for that next spawn. There they come. Scions will be around. Normally it's three normal guys and then one major. You sometimes have to chase them down, which is annoying. That Major tends to float out in the middle. At least he's doing that right now. Come here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but you're going to lose. Typically going to be down here around the stairs. Yep. Get one big spin. You should take him out, grab the ammo, and move on. After he's down, the door should open. So come on up here. Once you've got most of those guys taken out, proceed on to the next one. Five minutes down. Now, you guys see that I don't have a ton of points per se um keep in mind that gold is only i only needed like 44 i don't even know if that's the max that you or the minimum that you need but 44 got me a gold on my first run it was kind of a slow run on top of that and i still got it so if you can go through that first section especially with the sword you'll speed along pretty quickly now out here you're going to have some vex and some cabal fighting now if you can let the minotaurs do their thing without really getting you involved that's going to be nice because that minotaur is going to hurt a lot He's going to have that Void Cannon that's basically going to be really, really effective. As big and as hard as their cannon hits, they're not one I really want to screw with. Now, these guys are solar. They're not so bad. You can pick them off. Not a big deal. Sometimes there's a heavy ammo box in there. If there is, great. If not, well, so be it. Use that grenade if you can. Try and be effective with it. Take out what you can. And then if this boy is all that's left, charge him with that sword and get a little aggressive. Speed this along. Now the next room, pretty much all you've got to do, come around the corner and kick off another ghost door opening. Shocking, right? Now once the door opens, you're going to have some enemies spawn in from a couple different places. The Cabal are going to be up top. If you know that they're going to be up top, Throw some grenades behind them. It's going to help. You're going to have a Colossus who's going to be really pissed. So I wouldn't get too close and think you're just going to survive without really much anguish. Now, the Phalanx, they're going to charge you a little bit. But the Colossus is going to be your main factor. You can kill the Phalanx without them getting too annoying. They're fine. Colossus, there he is. Big ugly. Watch those rockets. They hurt like crazy. He's all over the place. I love those exploding shots. They're actually quite helpful. And he's down too. Now once you get him down, you're likely to have some Vex in the back as well. So just keep in mind when you come around the corner, you could not be alone. Namely the Minotaur. That's the one you want to watch out for. If you can get that Minotaur down, everything else is going to go pretty swimmingly. Once those guys, are, once the Minotaur is down, then at this point, come in, see if there's a Minotaur. If it's just the Harpies couple swings will help. Pick that ammo up. That You're going to have some Scions coming out of the back. 
One heavy scion's gonna spawn back on the other side, so use this moment. Grab some ammo, see if anything is around. Pick up your heavy, or special I should say, and find your super scion. Should be right at here. Once he's down, you're good to go. Again, grab any ammo you want. Pretty straightforward, 22 minutes in, door is open. Now, once you come around this corner, there's gonna be some enemies coming to you. You have to at least cross this door threshold or they're just gonna keep spawning. If you keep going back in here, they don't really stop. So you gotta be a little aggressive here, dealing with some of these enemies. That's why grenades are gonna be a nice thing. Sword's gonna keep you somewhat in check. And you're gonna have some centurions coming to you as well. So just be careful what direction they come in. If they all come from this side, it's not so bad. You can kind of control them. Get them as they come up the ramp a little bit. And then also watch behind you. Sometimes these jerks will be over here. Really, dude? Yeah, you can be aggressive with a sword through here for a minute until you get chased like this. Enjoy a grenade. All of you can fry. That should be most of them. Make sure you got them all. Check for ammo again. See if you got lucky. See if there's any ammo boxes, and you're good. And we're on the boss fight. 20 minutes to go. It's always about how that seems to go. Now, I've got about 42 ammo on my sword. So what I want to do, especially with um, with my bubble, I want to run down there and try and pick off one of these guys as quick as I can. Now, they're going to all spawn in, but unfortunately, you're also going to have a ship flying in. So you're not going to have a ton of time. But you can definitely vaporize one of them pretty quickly. So what you can try and do is get yourself kind of behind a wall here. Use the bubble. Try and pull some of them to you. Use that bubble, and then get him over here. Now, if he's the void one, his shield's going to be even less effective. Now, he's going to come over here. You're potentially going to have another one. But you're also going to have a lot of enemies coming in. So, it's kind of your option. At this point, your best bet is to run back for safety. You got the quick one down. Now, you're going to have a lot of enemies coming. So, be careful about that. I'll keep some grenades going. Use a lot of those. Keep some guys in check down there. Also watch behind you too. Just be careful. Again, a sword. Really effective on melting a lot of those dudes down. Use those grenades. You're going to have a lot of enemies down there just chilling out. As you can see, there's a few of them. That dude's standing on a light pole. He's just like, oh, I'm going to be here. Might have a few more. It's a nice little pile of bodies right here. You got some ammo. You're going to have some guys out there in the middle. Now, the main ones you want to take out are the Centurions. If you can get a couple headshots, they do go down in two, even from this gun. If I'm not getting tagged. But it looks like I already have the Majors out, which is cute. They're just kicking it up a notch today for me. There we go. He's down. And just keep looking around. Now, what you're going to kind of want to try and do is uh, clear all the enemies out so you can get to a point where the other two are pretty close. Now, what you want to do is try and get both of them low. And then what you want to do is try and kill them both almost at the same time. I've got some heavy ammo in the back, but I think to be able to pull this one off, it's going to take a sword. So I'm going to throw a grenade over here, see if I can use that on the wall, melt him down a little bit while he's working. Yeah, enjoy my grenade, sir. Same with you, Zion. Nice thing about that continuous pulsing of the spike grenade. It's pretty effective. Now, one thing you can do, for one, take out that stupid Centurion. He's annoying. Those guys go down quick. Now, if you can toss a grenade back here, that'd be a miracle, but we'll see how this goes. Nope, too far over. Alright, well, his head popped off, which is a bonus. Now you've only got a few other guys, but don't let that phalanx get too close and just smash you into a wall. Keep your distance. They don't hurt that bad. They don't really stop, so keep shooting their gun, and you'll take them out. And again, if you got one guy down here below you, you can get him from a couple different angles, from above, from the side. Looks like I've got some ammo, which is nice. I'll take that special ammo. A little bit of sniping to do. So I want to finish off the rest of the scions that I can find down here close by. The red ones are going to go down quick from one little sniper shot. They're not so bad. 
Come on, peek your head out. And unfortunately, I've got more enemies coming in. Not cool, but it's happening anyway. Try and find the Centurions here. Pop them off. Shouldn't be too bad. Once most of this wave is down, you should be able to finish this pretty quickly. Just as long as you've got a decent amount of ammo, you can drop some shields, get some good work on the little mini-bosses. Take your time, work your way around, make sure everything is dead too. You don't want to come up here, try and work on the mini-boss, and then have a Centurion start shooting you, which just kind of ruins your entire plan. Happened to me before, it's not a lot of fun. Try and just, if you need to move, get a different angle, you'll find the Centurion. He's around. It's usually not expecting you to move this far, so if you can get a different angle on him, it can help too. But pretty much once you've got him down, the world isn't going to change too much until you kill. Until you actually kill one of the bosses. So this is the point where either a heavy synth or if you can go grab that heavy ammo box is going to be really effective. And if you can get them both a little bit wounded, maybe a grenade, whatever you want, this is your time to try and take them out and use that bubble. So I've got that. See if I can finish find this little straggler. Find any normal guys. You want literally just the mini guy, the bosses left. Now find one of them, try and melt him down. If you can get him down, then at this point, your best bet, try and come up here, find him. Use that and try and melt this guy down as fast as you can. And that's going to do it. Get back in that bubble because the ship could be flying in. And you can finish him off really fast with the sword. Huge time bonus there, 55,000. Here comes the ship. Again, be careful about that. So pull back a little bit in case that ship is coming in. You don't want to die that way. I don't know if what's going to happen if you're sitting under it. But pull back. Kind of broke it with that ship coming in. But it just passed on through. And that's the way to do it with the sword, guys. Much higher score than my last one. But that sword is really effective. Just pick your battles. You don't have to try and kill all three. If you do, awesome. If you don't, it's still done in like 15 minutes. So not a big deal either way. Um, so the sword is really, really effective if you can time that right. Especially with the Titan and that boost of damage. If you, get, if you have three of you guys in there, you can melt that entire strike in like no time. Hey, Plan C. Haven't seen one of those in a minute, and I'll take it. It's 400. Better than my last one, which was a ghost. But yeah, that's the sword one. As I said, it's a really effective way to kill that strike. 15 minutes, pretty much knocking that thing out. Um, other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. Drop a like below if you did enjoy it. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, you know, hit that dislike button. But drop a comment. Let me know what I can do to improve these videos. Check out that main channel page. Subscribe there. If you want to know the, when those little videos are coming, hit that little alert bell and you'll get some notifications. Other than that, guys, thank you for support. The channel keeps growing. It's awesome. So I thank you guys for everything. Have a good morning and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.